Okay. Hello. If you saw the title of this, it is, uh, are you using your intuition? So this is something I've been tapping into more and more and a piece I'm actually adding into a program that I'm working on. And I just thought this would be a perfect conversation topic within the community that I work in. And, uh, and just like speaking to, <clears throat> to moms as a whole or anyone who is looking to dive into their intuition. I just think this is such a powerful higher faculty that most aren't using or they kind of like push it aside that it isn't something that they need to use or that like nudge they feel or that like people describe their intuition as like a gut feeling. Um, it's so easy to just like push that away and not listen to it. And uh, one thing that my coach has talked about is intuition is the universe talking back to you. So prayer can be the way that you're talking to the universe, God, source, whatever it is that you believe in. And then your intuition is the universe talking back. So when I heard that, I thought that was such a cool way to, to look at it and to explain what actually our intuition is. Because for me, I've always had it as more of a feeling. It's always been a feeling of something I've felt or certain situations when it's something you get that feeling that you're not supposed to be in that situation like those are those gut feelings or those nudges that you're supposed to to leave the situation if it's not feeling right for you um i often get these like intuitive nudges downloads whatever it is you want to call them when i'm driving so that has been one that i've noticed um it'll just be like this kind of thought that comes into my mind, but it's not a thought I'm like thinking about that I should just switch lanes or slow down <laughs> or something. So I've really been noticing this because up until yesterday, I, up until I started this work, I was never noticing it. I wasn't in the habit of noticing when when this was happening or when I would get these nudges or these kind of gut feelings or instincts. Um, but that's been like the biggest thing that I've noticed or just feeling like I need to reach out to someone and then ending, ending up that they tell me a story or that, oh my gosh, I was just thinking about you or I've even had it the other way around where I've thought about someone because I've sent them a message and I'm just waiting to kind of hear back. And then I'll think about it. Oh, it'd be really nice to hear back from this person. And then I get a message from them. So kind of tapping into that is really cool because we have this power within us. And as you guys are learning throughout this course, there are actually six um, higher faculties. So when we can actually tap into these, it can change the, the path, the course of our life, because we realize that this power comes from within and not that we are looking for this power outside of us, or we are looking for this power through somebody else or through a spiritual teacher or healer or through a job or through somebody, a loved one, once we actually can realize, like take ownership and realize and take responsibility that this has to come from us and that we have this power within us, then your potential is infinite. So it's pretty cool when you can tap into that and realize 
that you do have these gifts and everybody has them. It's just some are not in the habit of practicing it. And I will be completely honest, before I started doing this work, I was not in the habit because I didn't know that I had this power. And I didn't know I had this within me. So how I want to align this with the work that I do with moms and new moms and moms with little kids, um, it is so cool because if you have little kids in the stages of like birth to eight years old, their subconscious minds are wide open. So they are constantly using these higher faculties without even knowing it. So not like shutting down our child when they're trying to say something because it is coming from like they, they are so tapped in to this higher power, this source universe more than we are because their subconscious mind is being wide open and they don't have all of this stuff put on put on them yet or coming into their conscious mind or have anything like kind of blocking. So it's it's just that getting in the habit of acknowledging what your child is saying, depending on what it is and really just having a conversation with them if they're at the age that they can speak. Because our kids are such powerful teachers in this sense that they know what's actually happening sometimes before we do. And for me, my oldest son, he is very tapped into this power and he relies on his higher faculties and all of the power he has to listen. Like he's constantly listening and he's taking things in. And there's a difference between children who are just around playing and listening to things you're saying, but then the ones that you can see that are really tapped in and are telling you stories that you've never heard or that something like a situation that has happened. So it is pretty cool to see that these little humans in our lives are such cool teachers. Um, so yeah, I can't share the exact situation or story yet, but uh, I will once we've like chatted more about it with my son, um, because it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool to, uh, to see how tapped into it that he was and uh, to see how connected he is to the spirit universe. Um, yeah, so it's very interesting. But back to intuition. So often it will be referred to as like a sixth sense, but it's actually not a sense. So it's not similar to seeing, hearing, tasting, touching, or smelling. It is, it is a power. So we can't refer it to as the sixth sense because the sixth sense, if we live through our six senses, we will never go beyond what we can see, taste, touch, smell, and hear. We will never go beyond that because if we can't see it in our minds, it doesn't exist. But when you can tap into your higher faculties and realize that something you can see in your mind, even though you've never seen it with your eyes or like in person, you can see a picture of something and as long as you have a picture or you've created a mental picture, then you know exactly what that looks like and you can see it in your mind, even though you've never seen it or never been to a place or been in front of something with your own eyes. So there's the difference between tapping into your higher faculties and living through your six senses or your five senses, because you're limiting what you're allowing your mind to do because as we know the mind is in every cell of our body so tapping into our intuition can be very very powerful 
when we want to unlock parts of our life or go deeper into any kind of work, healing, whatever it is that you're, that you're doing. So how you kind of start to pick up or notice this is you'll notice these, these little nudges and you, you have to pay attention to it because your intuition is a very quiet, quiet voice. So if you, as you know, and as we've been discussing, paradigms and your beliefs will be very loud. So if you're only focusing on those, you will not be able to hear your intuition because it's such a quiet voice. And like I said, it can come in so quick sometimes. Like we know a thought when it comes into our mind and everybody experiences this different, but it's just kind of like, you can't even call it a thought because it's just something that comes into your mind or it's a feeling. Usually for me, it's a feeling that I usually like, I feel something or you, you feel the energy because as we know, we are all energy. You feel the energy, let's say, of a room of people and you know that talking to someone, this conversation feels really good. You get that feeling that you've known them forever. And then that can go into like so much of a deeper path of past lives and all that stuff. Um, but you know when you're talking to somebody and that conversation doesn't feel good. You know that the energy is just not flowing. So then it's like, that's your intuition saying, try to remove yourself from the conversation or a scary situation or whatever it is. So it's like listening and noticing those little nudges when you're feeling them and when they come up. So for me, it's little things like when I'm driving, I'll slow down and then all of a sudden there's a cop checking speed <laughs> or something um, or I'll switch lanes and then someone will pull out so it's just like could have been an accident but it my intuition just kind of guided me so when you actually allow your intuition to guide you and you're not hearing this big loud belief or voice then it's a really cool transition. And then you'll start noticing it more and more and more and more and you'll tap into it. So that's kind of the first, the first thing because it's, it's happened to you many times. You're just not in the habit of noticing it. So once you get in the habit of noticing it, um, yeah, but play around. Like even messages will come in and it will be someone I'm thinking about or someone who I wanted to reach out to just didn't have a chance yet or just even within my business contacting people it's just I will reach out to someone and offer them something and then I get this massive message back of gratitude because they are so happy that I reached out to them because what I'm offering is exactly what they needed or something like that so it's these little little things that if you're in the habit of noticing or once you are in the habit of noticing it, they'll keep happening more and more and more. And then just keep tapping into it because as we know, it's a power and you have to strengthen it just like a muscle in order for it to grow and uh, for you to tap into it even more and more. But there are six higher faculties intuition is just one of them so there is intuition reason memory um perception will and imagination so those are the six and they we study these throughout our uh, thinking into results and mindset program so uh, it's cool to tap into this and to use this as a parent and with small kids and allow our kids to tap into this more and more and not letting us kind of like shut them down because everything our children say has to have some kind of place. Yes, there's some things that my kids say that it's just like, I don't know where you heard that. 
but it's still allowing them to have the space to speak and to share what it is they're meant to say. Because a lot of the time, there are a lot of teaching and learning that can come from this and from our kids because they are constantly trying to teach us something to slow down to be more patient to be calm so there's so many little messages but yeah get in the habit of noticing when your intuition is speaking to you and uh feel free if you've noticed this and you've had things come up for you feel free to uh message or put them in a in the comments we'd love to hear more about your experience and uh what your what's coming up for you but that is all i have to share take care i will be on in another couple weeks <laughs> on another topic if there's a specific topic about like parenting motherhood uh anything like that and around mindset let me know and I will definitely do some research and find some answers and do some education about it because this is my jam. Okay, take care guys.